Welcome back to the Excel Resistor Color Code Calculator. I'm going to exit now. Oh, let's reset everything first. There we go. Yes, and exit. That is fine, but reset and exit work works. So the next thing we're going to do now is to double click on this and assign whatever we have on the button to the multiplier and get the name of the multiplier it's called LBL multiplier and we also need LBL line 3 so let's copy that double click on this LBL multiplier dot caption equals 1 LBL line 3 dot back color dot back color equals black right there so copy that paste it there so if we have a look at the next one the next one here is 10 double click on that paste that change that to 10 and the black the color of the the back color will become this very one here that's brown copy paste let's copy this go to the next one double click that is 10 paste that in there change the color that is 100 actually not 10 change the color there so i'm now going to speed that up and get back to you guys shortly the next one here that is the color of that and let's speed that up okay we finished with the decoding so if I run it now this is what you guys will see supposing I select red yellow here and multiplier then tolerance what I need to do is click on this and I should be able to get the results okay let's give that a try exit and let's come in inside this very button calculate right there okay double click on the calculate right in here i'm going to declare the following variable q i'll just say q let's say q8 as double okay for q1 that's array q no okay let's say q0 equals what would be the value in there that would be LBL band one dot caption then Q one equals LBL band two dot caption Q two equals LBL band no LBL multiplier dot caption okay and let's say Q3 that is equals to LBL tolerance dot caption so we've been able to store all of these value now so stored stored and this one is stored and this one okay so what we need to do is to concatenate these two and then multiply it by this and multiply whatever we get by this as well and we store it right in here and here okay let's come back in here so let's double click on that I will now create another one I'll call it Q4 equals 
one boot value q zero and q one so the value of q1 and q0 is stored in here if you guys want to know what i'm talking about those are the value that has been concatenated so that is meant to be right inside here i believe okay so i can come in here let me just show you an example of what i'm talking about so paste that in there dot caption equals q4 so if i run it and play around with just these two first one and two let's see what's going to happen select whatever and if i select any of this nothing will happen there we go you see i only have 35 stored in there okay close that now back and the code double click on that so this officially is meant to be multiplied by q3 so let's say multiply that by q3 q3 instead of having q3 there i can just call that q5 q5 and then assign all of, all of those values into q5 here there we go right so inside q5 let's put a bracket and we can also multiply that as well by the top of oh, oh, that is the tolerance we can now divide this divide it by 1000 if it's divided no let's come in here all of these we want it inside another function divide that by 1000 so that I will use that to work out the minimum range and the maximum range right okay I want this inside here divide by 1000 Once it's divided by 1000, the caption equals Q6. There. Okay. And now, and I want to subtract this. That would be Q7 equals Q5. subtract q6 right and that will go inside lbl minimum dot caption no minimum range dot caption equals q7 okay i think we're going to need one more yeah, let's make that nine. Okay, come right down here. So this is going to now be Q8. Paste Q8. In this case, that becomes plus, and this one becomes maximum. Come right down and change this to eight why the other one become maximum max okay i won't understand what is meant to be weird because this one these two one two is here so this should be q4 q4 should be right inside here oh that should be q4 and when we then multiply q4 by this and then divide it by this we should get that inside 
the last Q5. Let me run it first and see, but I think this two might be wrong. Well, this is Q4, not 5, Q4. Yeah, that's Q4. Then this is Q5. Or Q4, I mean. Q5 is nowhere. Okay, let's run it and see. Alright, 2, 4. Thousand five percent there. Okay, and this one. This should actually be one point two, so that is incorrect. So we need to get the value in here, right? So we add this, add this, multiply by Q three, and. Let's check it out again. No, it's not Q3. It's multiplied by this. So let's come back in here. Double click. Alright. It's not Q3. It's supposed to be multiplied by Q2. This should be Q2. Right. And this one as well is Q. Two. No, we meant to multiply all. Multiply by Q two, and then we need to multiply this by Q two as well. Okay, so multiply by Q three. Is that in there? That's Q3. If Q3 is multiplied that by that, all we then need to use is Q5. Copy and get undo that. Copy this Q5 and just get rid of everything in Q6. In here, in Q6. There we go. Yeah, that might do it. Okay, so this 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 yes that is correct okay so let's go back to those lines of codes so you guys have a good look at it right q1 band 1 and band, band 2 concatenated and stored inside q4 q4 is then displayed inside the resistor value then multiplier multiply whatever is concatenated inside Q4 and that is the multiplier then multiply by the tolerance Q3 the tolerance whatever value we get we divide that by 1000 and then use that to find once we divide it by 1000 is stored inside Q6 whatever inside q6 is then used to find a minimum range we deduct that from q4 and to find the maximum range we also we add that to q4 and that's how we arrive at, at our answer so if I so let's say the first span is red and second band happens to be green and let's keep our multipliers orange and the tolerance click on that there we go so guys with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoyed y'all have a nice day now bye for now